Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy, and I'm here to help you practice comparing groups to 10. When we compare groups, there's two things we need to do. The first thing that we're going to do is decide which group is greater. Can you say that word with me and stretch out your arms? Ready? Greater. When something is greater, it means that it is bigger or that it has more. The next thing that we need to decide is which group is less. That means that the group is smaller or it doesn't have as many. So to get thinking about that, let's get our brains imagining we're on a farm. The skies are beautiful, the grass is green, and there's baby chicks. There's a group of yellow baby chicks and a group of black baby chicks. So on this farm, we have our two groups and we need to decide which group is the group that is greater. Remember, that means more. Now, if you were imagining this story, it would be kind of hard to think about without having counters or an object to help count them. So you could get some counters to match one to each chick. So I could put, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five green counters. And then that's to match my yellow chicks. And then I could have one, two, three, four blue counters to match my black chicks. Once I have a counter to match each chick, I'm going to line them up like this. Then I need to compare my groups. One way I can compare is drawing a line connecting one green to one blue, like this. It's important that when I make my matches, um, I'm just matching one to one. So let's finish matching one green to one blue, one green to one blue. Now, can I match this last one here? No, I cannot. There's no more blue. Now it's time for me to decide which one has more. I would decide that the green group has more. That's right, it means it is greater. That's because it has one left over. So if the green group is greater, that means the blue group is less because there's not as many. For your homework today, you will need to decide which group is greater. When you're doing your homework, you're going to draw lines to compare your groups, and then you'll circle the group that is greater. All right, friends, that's all for today. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.